and Cindy, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was um, your thoughts. And it was like when he spoke like one thought over you, I saw like this valley, but there wasn't, it was just grass. And then when he spoke one word over you, there was like a daisy that popped up. And then the next word he spoke over you, then there was another daisy. And then all of a sudden it's just like this valley of beautiful daisies. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm taking you, I'm picking you up. And I'm, I want you to look around you in this place I want to place you in. And I, I, and I just see how you're like in this field of daisies with the promises, the gifts, the love that God has for you. And I just feel there's a lot of healing God is doing in your life, a lot of restoration. But also, um, Cindy, God has called you to be a chain breaker, not only for your life, um, but for a lot of people around you, especially your family. And I just feel the Lord says you are going to break the chains of the enemy and you are going to speak so much life. I just feel the Lord says... Chains are breaking. This is a time for breakthrough. Cindy, God loves you. God bless you. Amen. Next word is for John. John, I see how you're standing between buildings. And as you speak, it's almost like the buildings are falling. I see how the buildings are going like this. And, 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 and it goes to one side. As you speak, and then you, you put your hand on the building and it starts going. And, and that's quite supernatural, right? So God um, says, well, what I've seen, what I'm seeing is that God is giving you um, really a, like, a, like a, a gift to do miracles. A gift to do really speak and it will be. Speak and it will be but you need to stand in that place of faith where you will it's almost like that verse that says um you know speak to the mountain and it will move and and that's exactly what it is if you know so go into that and and, and really ask the lord where where he will teach you how to do that more of that and so that you can go into the right places and so that you can also teach other people to do this so that more miracles can happen and so that the, the you know god can be glorified through this power um but don't don't be, don't be silenced and don't step back because God is really going to move and use you mightily. Be blessed. My next word is for Sharika Neil. I just heard how God's saying, put your game face on. I see like how God shows me that he's already got like this whole game plan um, for you. And I see like how God shows me that when you connect to him, how he'll show you this game plan. I see when you start to follow this game plan, how the enemy, how your opponents will stand amazed at the end of the this game that they'll see like what happened here. I feel like our God shows me that you don't know the 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 the, the game plan that is God for you, but I feel like how did that when you put your trust in God, how God shows you how he's gonna allow you to take victory of this game, victory of this plan that is God. And I just see like how God shows me that you are a winner, that you are victorious. Be blessed. Thank you, Sharika, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a dry desert place where you feel dry. And I just see how the water slowly started coming in, how the sand turned into mud, and then eventually the water started to flow. But if you dug deep into the sand, you see there would have been water. And uh, the Lord says, even though you feel dry and dead, it wasn't that you're dry and dead. You're always there. It's just you're going through seasons and you're working through it. But I see how the blessings of the Lord is on its way. It's just going to nourish your soul. It's just going to give you like water in the desert. Be blessed. Amen, Elizabeth. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for um, Christopher. I hear the Lord saying that... You, that that you've been hearing the same thing over and over again and people have been speaking the same thing over you over and over again and sometimes when we hear it for for let's say like the lord shows me how you have such a, a wonderful heart and then you'll be like yes i know i have a wonderful heart thank you but i hear the lord saying that you must receive it every single time the lord is trying to make something very very clear to you and even if it's the same thing, yes, Lord, I receive it. Yes, Lord, I receive it. Yes, Lord, I receive it. Because every time you receive it, I see how there's like this bar that just goes higher and higher and higher. And then eventually you get it and double that because every time you received it. Be blessed. Okay. Awesome. God bless you, Christopher. So um, the next word is for Wayne. Okay. I hope I pronounce your uh, name correctly. Uh, so, Wayne, I felt that the Lord has really put an anointing on you, uh, gentleness, humility, and worship, and the presence of God, and being able to enter in quickly into the presence, and even take other people into the presence of God. And so, because you have so much love that's coming out of you, uh, and a gentle kindness of God, I just see how you can easily take someone that's actually quite hard, 
and you can bring them into that reign of God and I can get soft and I can feel the love of God and I can change. So there's a real anointing on you to bring people in the presence of God. God bless you. Amen. Um, Wayne, God loves you so much. God bless you. This next word is for Ellen. Uh, um, Ellen, God loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord is really... Um the Lord is really changing your perspective of how you see things. I just feel the Lord is really blessing you with so much um, joy and also fire. And a lot of things that people were complaining about. I just feel the Lord says, you are going to be that person that does something about it. And I just feel the Lord says, I've placed you there for a reason. You are the light. You're called to be a fountain um, in that place. And I just feel the Lord says that even though it looks like everything's shaking and there's chaos, there is there is a calling for you to be there. Uh, but I just feel the Lord says that I, I am with you and I am your strength and then God loves you so much and, and God is really right now just singing songs over you and just wrapping you in his love. God bless you. I mean, the next word is for Stephen. Stephen, I've, I see how you are, it's almost like you are in this battle and you're going from this one area to the other area and your hands are, are really sore and it's, it's, it's really, it's tough and, and it's almost like you are fighting for, for, for someone and, and, and I saw a girl, um, a young woman, I don't know if it's your, your, your daughter or if it's a young woman, I don't know, but, but, but that you are protecting from you know, uh, the evil, from you know, the darkness and, and, and God says you need to step up in your spiritual warfare, you need to keep on praying, you need to keep on intercessing so that you can protect this woman or your daughter or I'm not sure what it is but it's definitely um, a female that you are protecting and a younger female. So God will protect her, you just speak, keep speaking words of protection over her and keep on, keep on doing spiritual warfare because God goes before you and He fights the battle for you. You just need to stand in that place of victory and keep on proclaiming, keep on having faith and keep on put, putting that shield up of faith. Bless you. Sure. Our next word is for Angela Parker. Angela, I just felt like our God is saying that sometimes unrealistic standards can make make us feel like we are not growing, we are not going in the right direction. But God is saying when you're growing like an inch or a centimeter, or you just like growing like a millimeter at a time, there is still growth happening. And I feel like our God is showing me that He just wants you to to not lower your standard but lower your, not yeah not really lower your standard but get realistic um goals i feel like our god is showing me that that he wants you to not be so hard on yourself because god shows me that in this year you've grown tremendously i see like how god shows me even your heart how god shows me that your heart has grown for people the love to love people to have compassion over people so i just feel like our god is saying that do not be so hard on yourself be blessed thank you angela for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for louis louis the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i see you've got access to heaven you've got a ladder that goes into heaven but this ladder looks like it's hanging from a helicopter and it's swinging so sometimes you're afraid to climb this ladder you're not sure what's going to happen and that's where faith comes in you need to use your faith to say i'm going to start i'm going to climb the first step and i'm going to go to the second step and even in the back of your mind if everything does not work out you did what you believe was right you went to get access to the lord now just see how the lord is going to help you sometimes it's going to feel like you want to slip and fall and then i just see how the lord is there to support you to guide you to bring you up but he says I'm giving you access. Be blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.